This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang. We continue tracking Tropical Storm Ada. South Florida is dealing with the impact of the storm. You're looking at the scene in Brickell overnight. The storm's heavy rain caused a lot of flooding in this area. Many cars were stuck in standing waters and garages were also flooded. Now the flooding is also especially bad in Fort Lauderdale. You're looking at video shot by someone who lives there. The water on her street so high it was nearly up to her knees. Parts of Melrose Park and Melrose Manors in West Fort Lauderdale also look like small lakes. The street flooding made driving risky. Some cars were stalled and got stuck. In Lauder Hill, a driver nearly lost his life when he accidentally drove into a canal. He thought he was driving in the parking lot of his apartment complex. The rescue was risky and serves as a reminder to all of us about the dangers of driving in those floodwaters. You hear the common saying, turn around, don't drown. And this is a perfect example. If you can't see the streets, turn around. Don't go through the flooded water. I mean, it's you saw it's almost knee deep in some areas here. Uh, it's very dangerous. If you don't have to be out on the streets right now, stay indoors. There was also a number of crashes. One driver spun out and his car overturned on State Road 7 and Plantation. Students in Miami-Dade and Broward will not have school online or in person. Miami-Dade Superintendent Alberto Cavallo says they'll determine whether it will be safe to resume classes tomorrow. Broward County had planned to shift to online learning for everyone, but canceled that idea because of the potential power outages. All Archdiocese of Miami schools will be closed. Now, CBS4 weather. By 8 a.m., the skies started to clear out for Broward, but notice that still blustery out there. Obviously, not a good day for boating, not a good beach day whatsoever. Those uh, That surf and those seas are rough out there, and in fact, we're still going to be dealing with flooding from salt water along the coast, especially during high tide, which occurs later on this afternoon between 3 and 3.30, and on top of that, ready dealing with flash flooding in Broward from the rain yesterday and the rain this morning and still in Miami day dealing with rain as well. So this red area you see right here, that is that flush, flash flood warning that remains in effect till 11 a.m. For areas in Miami day, that's where we're seeing the heaviest of the rainfall around the eight o'clock hour. So sweet water all the way down to the 18 mile stretch with these gusty storms rolling through along that rain band that's just sitting there. But eventually it's going to track on westward that all all these rain bands will eventually track westward with Ada. Ada, as of 7 a.m., moving west at 13 miles per hour, but still a strong tropical storm. So this yellow, those are, or this highlighted yellow, excuse me, those are tropical storm conditions, which do remain for much of South Florida throughout at least this morning. But winds will start to drop by later this afternoon through this evening as well. In the meantime, Ada will be moving more down towards the southwest, hitting somewhere southeastern Gulf of Mexico, and then making a turn towards the north as a category one hurricane by tomorrow morning and then throughout the week all eyes on Ada. It is making aim towards the west coast of Florida and so it's another hit for Florida later on in the week. Here's a look at those wind speeds this morning topping 30 miles per hour and gusting up to 40 miles per hour so still tropical storm conditions out there and that's going to last at least through midday. Of course flood risk continues and here's a look at that seven day forecast. So when are the winds going to drop? Well, well, especially by tomorrow morning, but still on the breezy, gusty side, we'll still deal with passing showers and storms as we'll stay under a moisture tail through the end of the week. Jennifer, thank you. That's our news update for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, and 7 for all of today's important headlines.